Hello, everybody. Welcome to a Meraki 5-Minute Feature on Global Radius Servers. My name is Sean White. I'm a technical marketing engineer within the Meraki Switching Product Team. And today I'm going to walk you through Global Radius Servers. What are Global Radius Servers? Global Radius Servers is the feature that allows you to create authentication and accounting radius servers at the organizational level to then be reused across your access policies in all networks underneath of that organizational level. Today, before this feature, you had to go into every access policy and create your radius accounting and authentication servers within those particular access policies in every network. We still only support a maximum of three radius servers defined in each access policy, even though it is org wide. Just an important note, global radius servers are not today supported by MR Wireless. So this feature is today only available on Meraki switching platforms, and it is a early preview feature. Now that we know what organizational wide radius servers are, let's go ahead and get them configured. We're going to scroll down to organization and go to early access. Now we're going to scroll down and look for organizational wide radius servers. This would be grayed out in your org. I have already turned it on, so it is blue. You're going to go ahead and check that radio button to opt in. Once you're opted in, then we're going to go back to organization and go to configure settings. And this is going to be where we set up our org wide radius servers. We're going to scroll down now that we're on the settings page. And here you can see the button to add a radius server. I already have one created. Let's go ahead and create another one. I'm going to click on that link. We'll type in our IP address, give it a name. We'll call it global ice two. Here you can see we already have our authentication and accounting servers checked with the port numbers. Now we're going to go ahead and enter our password, our shared secret, and hit save. Okay, so now we've created this organizational wide radius server. So now how do we use it? Here you can already see that I'm in my home network. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to go switches and I'm going to go to Access Policies. Since I already have a few, we're going to go ahead and create another Access Policy. We're going to scroll down to Add an Access Policy. Here we're going to call this one Global Ice 2. We're going to say Use My Radius Server. And now here you can see this table is empty. So now we want to select our organizational wide radius server that we just connect configured. If we hit the little down carrot, it's going to open up this window and you can see here that I have global ice and global ice too. I want to use the new one that I just created. So we're going to check the box for global ice too. And then we can go ahead and configure whatever else we want. So we'll go ahead and turn on COA. And here you can see the servers are already put in there and grayed out since they're at the org level. And everything else looks good there. We're going to go ahead and save those changes. And now we can apply that access policy to a switch port. So let's click on one of my switches. And we're going to pick one of my MS 390s. And then we're going to go find one of our access level ports right here. This one I know is doing uh, Microsoft Teep. So we'll go in and edit this here. I already had it using an access policy list. So let's go ahead and change that to our new global ice two policy that's there. Update save and we are done. Now it will be using those new globally configured radius servers for the access policy that is applied to this particular port. Thank you for viewing and we look forward to you joining us for another five minute feature from Meraki. Thank you.